Hello guys, hopefully you can see me in the preview. I can see me, hopefully you can hear me. So today we're taking a quiz to find out, um, are you half angel or half demon? So basically, am I a Nephilim or a Cambian? So it says, welcome to the quiz. Start off, imagine that you are in a vast garden. Which fruit are you most drawn towards? So I guess it's gonna be like, okay. I see a plump apple dangling from a thin branch. The branch looks ready to snap with the weight of the fruit. So I pick it up. It shines in the dying sunlight, looking sweet and juicy. I can even see my reflection in the shiny red skin. I look at myself bathed in the red for a moment, then letting the apple fall to the ground, I smash it beneath my foot. I am on the outskirts of the garden, looking at the beach nearby in the soft light of sunset. I can see some peaches. Practically, I don't know. A peach. Okay, I'm deep within the garden by now. It looks more like a forest. It's getting darker here, though. I'm not sure if it's simply because I just fallen into it. That's not going to cause problems in the recording, is it? Small bath, maybe you should water Nabaya, sit on the rocks, and watch the water peacefully. I feel hunger growing inside me. Um, let's go with the apple. After eating your chosen fruit, you decide to admire some of the many flowers growing in the vast garden. Which are the ones that I take a liking to? Unsure of where exactly I'm going. I used to have an idea of where I was, but I admit to myself I'm pretty lost now. I look to a couple of flowers inside the road, and a purple hue it makes me feel curious. Somehow, being pulled in by them, I go to look and realize it's a deadly nightshade. I feel surprised and even slightly afraid to see such a poisonous plant. But I can't help but admire its beauty. Further strain off. I come across a large pond filled with lily pads and coarse white lilies. I can't help but sit in a fallen branch near my and admire how they elegantly float on the surface of the water. Hoping you can still hear me when I do that. Hoping you can still hear me when I do that too. I see a bunch of red roses, although on close inspection, most are dead. I feel disappointed at first, but let's see which one is still filled with fire and life. I reach into the bush of thorns, not caring about the scratches I get. I brush his pet on the fingers and smile to myself. I would do that. You're at the end of the garden. It is an interesting ordeal. But with you, you carry one of the fruits that you picked in a pool of one of the flowers in your pocket. Before you completely take your leave, however, it would seem that the garden wished to bestow you one more gift. Which will you take? Okay. This, there is a dirty necklace hanging from a branch. I can see some matted feather inside the jewel in the middle. Take it off the tree, knowing that with a little rinse and some care, it will restore to its former beauty. With a pot of clear liquid, and through in the ornate glass, it reveals a beautiful, almost intoxicating scent. I'm not sure if it's a perfume or potion, perhaps even a poison, but I take it with me nonetheless. I can see. What was that noise? Oh, the screen just got darker. Battery's low. I need to finish this quiz. Uh, 3.13. I'm not going to finish this quiz. I can see a small but beautifully decorated box. I find a little screw on the bottom of the quiz. And opening up the box to reveal a little ballerina. She dances and spins to the music inside, her fragile limbs carrying her upon stage. Uh, upon her own stage. She looks almost alive as she steps into the of circle. Close the lid. Let you know rats. Um, it'd be one of these two, and that would be the first one. Here's a quirk you put down to. Okay, one well, Sylvia Platts, so I'm probably gonna do that one. Hair God, hair Lucifer. Beware, beware, out of the ash I rise, my red hair, and I eat men like air. Mm. You shine with celestial splendor. 
Softness came from the starlight and filled me to the bone. Beauty is terror, whatever we call beautiful, we quiver before it. Will always be fond of me. I represent to you all the sins you never have the courage to commit. When is a monster not a monster? Um, this one. Pick a lyric. Okay. Oh, oh, we've got a lot of choices. You can't have two songs from the neighborhood on here. That's cheating. The whole town is colder in the summertime. I'll lose my mind as not a thousand times. Falling doesn't feel so bad, but I know you're falling this way too. Yeah, I've never. Uh, I think I've heard sweater weather, but. Uh, yeah. Devil Town was like. Uh, Devil Town was like. What do I want the most? Uh, what do I want the most? I want to be content in my life for what I have. I, mean, I want to be rest and be peaceful. I want assurance that I'm doing the right thing and on the right path. I want to ensure that my love will be better. Or if I feel worthy of love and affection, I want to open up myself and be gone. Where's the all of the above options? Um, well, I don't really concern myself with the um, right path. Um, content. Being able to be content is a um, good thing to have. Which words describe you? Stubborn, ambitious. Um, and ambitious is a uh, is a negative character trait for me. Um, well, uh, I'm not charismatic at all. Try as bored. I just stick to myself. I'm solitary, I guess. What is your social life like? Um, uh, your love life like? Um, it's hard to get people to have because I really never hear from people. Heartbroken, I don't mean to do it. I take things out a little bit dating seriously, and that doesn't hurt very well. Talk about this away. I'm sometimes. Take some time really opening up to someone. I want them to take care of my heart. Help is romantic. I guess. Color do wear the most often. Uh, black. Let's be real. Oh, multiple colors over here. Um, when I'm not wearing black, I'm usually wearing black. <laughs> When I'm not wearing black, I'm usually wearing black. How would you describe your appearance style of dressing? Dark. Um, colorful I have. Yes, yes. I'm gonna try to finish this quiz before my battery dies. Um, yes, a modest, um, I think that's it. Imagine you invented a larger bed at home. Um, imagine you invented a larger bed at house or for a wife. I may finish the quiz over there. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna do that. Let me get this quiz uploaded. I'm gonna finish the recording and the quiz over there. And all that. All that stuff. Okay, I finally got back to where I was. Alright. 
Imagine that you have entered a large, abandoned house. After exploring for a while, you feel a pulling sensation towards a certain room. What is that room? Option number one. It's actually not a room at all. I climb up a fragile ladder to the attic and find another ladder up there. I climb again until I am surrounded, until I am standing higher than I've ever before, looking up out upon the surrounding land. The wind whips through my hair as I breathe the fresh air. So different from the musty house. I walk until I find a door, even more dilapidated than the rest of the house. Oh, chair doesn't want to roll. I open it easily, the wood shattering with a slight push. When I walk down, my feet, my feet hit concrete, realizing that I am in some kind of basement. I feel some fear. But in a yellowish light in the room tempts me. This place is abandoned. Why is some kind of heater or boiler still on? I open a door with faded white paint and the marks of old stickers pressed on the door. They look like teddy bears and others look like letters. When I see the room, it has two beds and a bunch of old raggedy toys on the floor and some on the beds. I realize it is a children's room and a chill runs over me. What could have happened to them? Yeah, it's a good option. The door creaks when I open it. It is And unlike the musty smell of the rest of the house, I'm hit with some old perfume. The room is ornate and holds a beautiful, they like that word, beautiful stress in the center. Curious, I open the drawers and fumble through the jewelry and gaze at the vintage makeup. It's all rather gorgeous. Gorgias. If it wasn't for the dead moths and spiders littering the, dr the dresser, I took to the side in a beautiful white wedding dress. At least it used to be white. The once delicate lace is now covered in red stains. I enter the living room and I sit down and watch TV. I gaze upon all the furniture in the dust or fireplace. It look I look at all the family photos on the side, their faces obscured by dust. While I cannot see their expressions fully, they all look so happy and part of me feels almost jealous. I come across a room filled with I come across a room filled with books, but the closer I look, the stranger the titles are. Opening them up, I notice a rather strange theme. The family certainly had some unconventional interest. Oof. Oh. Okay. So right now it's I'm uh so right now it's either gonna be it's either this one or this one. But if I wanted a room filled with books, I just have to go in that room right there. Um Oh crap. I'm gonna have to censor the, the logo on those with the blur tool. Even though I can't hardly see it, this can't be can't be too safe. I enter the living room and gaze on all the furniture in the dusty fireplace. I already read that. Uh See, this, um, uh, well, when you think about it, yeah, this one, okay, which scents do you like to, like, what scent do I like, what, like, what, light and floral, deep and floral, something sweet like chocolate and candy floss? Spacing deodorant is special. Yeah, like, like what? Spicy, exotic scent such as vanilla chai or chai. I don't know. It's just basic deodorant. Okay, let's see. I'm half angel. Nice. <sighs> Too short. Angels have been long seen as spirits of goodwill, light in, in the darkness and pain. You would tend to be exactly that, in a world barren of love and care. When you sometimes wish to follow your own desires, you shoulder the burdens as if you were laying upon a sacrificial altar. Hey now, 
only after you've taken me out to dinner first. Your touch heals others, but let it heal yourself. Have fallen angel. That was an option too. Yeah. So I was like one point away from being half demon. Okay. So yeah. Uh, I'm actually gonna might use the images from these results in the thumbnail. I don't know. All I know is hopefully you can hear me. That's one thing I'm wishing for. Um, anyway, if you like this video, please share it around. Um, it may or may not say like, comment, subscribe in the one of the corners. I do not know. I did not check the text before I did this recording. Probably should have. But anyway. That has been it for me, guys. Uh, I'm doing this because there is a tiny box that opened up in my box. Uh, if any of you would use Bandicam, you probably know what I'm talking about. Anyway, guys, that has been it for me today. Uh, tonight. I think I did this over two days. This video took me two days to make, technically. No way to wait in this.